Oh, hi guys, and welcome back for some more Let's Play Mega Man 5. In the last part, we finished up the last two Robot Masters and made it to Proto Man's Castle. And in this part, we're going to be continuing through Proto Man's Castle. And, uh, sorry that you didn't get to see the little intro thingy before this. I accidentally save stated at a bad time between episodes, so. It's been a while since I've played this game. And I know I said I was doing this game because, oh yeah, I can record it much, much easier. But then... This is gonna sound stupid, but I have been running on a coffee low for like the entire week, and I'm a severe coffee addict. And this entire week I've just been so tired, but today, I don't know, good night's sleep is working as a good coffee substitute here. I don't know. Fun fact, I am just, I am horrible with coffee, I drink about five cups a week. But anyways, enough about me. You came here for Mega Man. Mega Man, you are gonna get, and possibly a whole bunch of deaths because this part is kinda hard. We got these treadmills, we got the spikes on the ceiling, we got a bottomless pit, we got enemies coming, so... I remember this part not being too bad, but when I practiced this a little bit earlier, I kept dying on this part, so... Who knows? I could do pretty well on this recording, and I could do just god-awful and keep falling, who knows? Uh, but apparently, I am going to miss the easy jump. <laughs> of all things, that jump. Alright, well. Let's try that again. That was a little bit shameful. I'm gonna admit that. I was honestly not expecting to die there. Oh, but I got the life back apparently, so. Whatever. We're good. Let me just shoot this guy. Gotta get him out of here. Oh, and I've, I've realized in the past episodes that you can totally hear the clicking of me, like, shooting things, and I should probably move my, uh, my joypad down a little bit here. Since the last episode I recorded, though, I did play Mega Man 9. I bought it and played all the way through it, and, uh, well, let me say, that's probably my least favorite in the entire series now, because it has a lot of beginner's traps and just random BS that isn't fair. Like, I had less trouble with Mega Man 10, and everybody says that Mega Man 10 is really hard. I don't know. I just felt like Mega Man 9 had a whole bunch of jumps that weren't very fair, and a bit of dick enemy placement. I don't know. I tried replay f replaying through it, and it was a lot easier than the first time, of course, but... Ah, it's still probably the hardest one I've ever played. And it wasn't because it was just fair, it was, there was quite a few just BS spike placements and enemies that shouldn't be in places that they were. Alright, thank god we made that jump this time. And then I ended up coming to the, uh, to the final boss with, uh, only one E-Tank, blew it, and then had to redo the entire castle if I wanted to beat him, so. It's kind of stupid that they didn't put an E-Tank on the last level, so at least you could grind for that if you keep screwing up. That's something that Mega Man 10 did, right? And then I also bought Mega Man 3 for the, uh, for the 3DS during the time that I have not been recording. And, uh, I made it most of the way through that, but, uh, I, I've never been a huge fan of Mega Man 3, mainly because of the, uh, the backtracking through old levels in combination with the fact that I realized that there's only a limited amount of E-Tanks and you can't repeat levels, so, uh, yeah! That game gets a little bit hard, mainly because of that. Ooh, yeah, there was no way I was getting out of that without taking damage. Or that. Okay. Maybe this game has a bit of dick enemy placement, too. Alright, but I think we're almost done here. I'm gonna get that. Oh, no, wait, never mind. No, I'm not. I don't need that at all. I can't even pick it up. It's over there. That seems suspicious. Alright, whatever. Okay, some of these guys from Starman Stage. The green now instead, I guess. I don't remember the uh, Proto Man stages too well, because I usually give up on one when I just do a quick play through this game, just because, I don't know, I usually have trouble with it. But, uh, and eh, two's not seeming too bad, other than that one jump that I missed. And, I mean, this nice health pickup here will make it a hell of a lot easier, I tell you what. Unless I die, the stupid Metsu will... Alright, well, looks like we're in the clear then. We're gonna get the annoying, uh, the annoying noise here. Ooh, I wanna take down that tiger! Ah, well that didn't go so well. Didn't go over as well as I thought it would. Just gotta make sure I keep a charge buster here at all times. <sighs> that tiger's more of an idiot than anything. 
And it uh, appears we're at the boss, and I don't remember this one. It's another robot like the first one, but I don't remember exactly what it is. This is just the guy that walks back and forth. It totally is. Alright, this guy... Uh, I've taken him down both with the Buster and with Beat. But I'm just going to try the Buster here so that I don't waste Beat. He's pretty easy, but he starts walking faster and faster. Pretty much that thing... Uh, it will hit you whenever he runs into you, obviously, and it'll block some of the shots on occasion. But he's fairly easy, so... He's kind of like Charge Man, but he does start just getting really, really fast, and that's a bit of a problem. So you gotta be a little bit quick with the jumps. And he just gradually gets faster, so... Watch out for him. When the two bars are uh, parallel to each other is when you want to release your shoot. Like right there. But, uh, I am... Oh! Okay, I thought he was gonna stop. That's why I kept going. Alright, well. We got him really close down to uh, dying there. I just thought he was gonna stop and, and I could just get in some free shoots and kill him there, but... Apparently you have to jump over him for him to turn around, so... And, wow, I am just doing even worse on him this time. Whoa! Come on, man! How badly is this going? Maybe I should totally use just beat and sit here. Alright, well, let's see if we can take care of him a little bit easier here. Yep, yep, okay. Well, I'm screwing this up severely. Mmm, okay, this is not feeling good at all. Not one bit. Blowing it. Alright, well, let's give Beat a shot, I suppose, since I'm just doing god-awful here. I can't believe I died to him twice. That was pretty shameful. The first time I would have had him if I, if I wasn't, like, overthinking his pattern. Or underthinking, I suppose. Oh my god, I can't jump over him anymore. What is this? He's not all that hard, either. This is probably the easiest out of the Proto Man Castle bosses. Alright, there we go. Although, I'm gonna have to refill Beat in the next level. That's a darn shame. There's no energy balancing in this game, so... Well, that was... Shameful. Entirely shameful. But we're moving on, so... Whatever. I don't remember Proto Man 3 either. I remember Proto Man 4, just not Proto Man 3. Unless Proto Man 3 is what I think it is. No, no it's not. Oh, it's this one. I vaguely remember this one. I remember there being a lot of Commando Joes. Or GI Joes, or whatever their names are. And these guys freaking suck still. Let's see if there's any sort of item I can use to take care of them or something. Can I use G-Hold just to get rid of these guys? I wonder. Oh, whoa, whoa! Did that just... Oh my god, I have found their weakness. This is amazing. Those guys are the worst enemies in the game. If I have G-Hold, which I probably will uh, whenever I see these guys, I'm just going to use that from now on. Yeah, well, that's a darn shame. I kind of wanted to use G-Hold to uh, completely get rid of him. Come on! Why aren't you going away? There we go. You gotta use it on him like four times there. Yeah, well, whatever. He's gone. Although, I am severely lacking on weapon energy now. And I just picked up one that I could have used, but oh well. Uh, let's see. We need a Rush Coil up here. Still looking good on Rush Coil, though. Ooh! I don't even need that health anymore, because that guy just dropped it all for me. I don't like the fact that I need to switch out to my weapon in order to fill it back up. But again, there's no energy bouncer in this game, so... Oh well, I suppose. Not like I need my weapons all that much, but I'd certainly like it. Uh, could you... Uh, I guess I'm walking off screen and walking back. This is, that thing just took off without me. Alright, let's see. Pretty sure there's another set of platforms like that up here, yeah. Totally is. And of course, just watch out for the spikes on the walls, but yeah, this room's not too hard. This is the only hard room I remember there being in this entire castle. Or this entire level. Just gotta make sure you trigger off those met tools before you jump, in order to be safe and not fall into these pits. And apparently, sometimes, they will just catch you off guard, and that's just not good. Alright, well, only one more met tool to go. Ooh, he's gonna drop a life for me, which I kinda need because of the last level. Alright, well, kinda gotta fake jump over this one in order to have him go up, but... Actually, this isn't the room I remember at all. I remember there being one with, like, a snake-esque thing, or maybe it was a rush jet section, I don't remember. Or maybe it was reappearing, disappearing blocks. 
It was something of that nature. Alright, let's use Star Arrow again. It's not quite as useful as Rush Coil or Rush Jet, so might as well just use it. Ah, no. Power Stone is BS. I'm not using that thing. Oh, I completely forgot to show off Power Stone. Yeah, I'll show it off now. It makes a shield. It's really wide and fairly useless. It's like topspin. Yeah, okay, there was a snake section in this level. I could have swore there was one. Yeah, alright, I'm not stupid. I could get that E-Tank, but I think I'd be risking my life for it, so... You get out of here. You're annoying me. You guys are gonna annoy me. I would really like that health, but I know I'm not getting it. Alright, well... You just seem like you would annoy the crap out of me. You too! Alright, well... Snake section wasn't too bad. The spikes aren't too threatening. Ah, there was no way I was gonna get out of that. No was there. I have a feeling there's gonna be like rockets or something. Ooh, ooh, not you. Anything but you! Oh! Frickin' Stompy Mans. They do so much damage and they're so hard to dodge. And it's just a huge problem. But we have so many lives that it doesn't really matter, so. And I might actually get this little. this little guy up here really quick here now. Alright, extra E tank for us. Now we got five. And again, there's another castle after this, so make sure to preserve your E-Tanks for that. I think the boss of this stage was the hardest one in the Proto Man castle, if I remember correctly, but I don't remember all that well. I remember the last boss. I remember the last boss being kind of annoying and really weak to beat. Speaking of which, we need some energy for beat soon. Yeah, there is no way to dodge those guys when they get up all on you. So really, what you gotta do is wait for them to do a big leap and- Oh, what the hell? Yeah, okay, great. See if I can kill him. Yeah, okay, that was the only way I was gonna get out of that. Now, as long as I don't blow this guy, we're good. Also, I'd like to revoke that statement once I uh, realize what I said. Oh well, it's fine. Everything's wonderful. Just gotta shoot some more guys- Oh no! Man, I really don't wanna die here. Okay. Just gotta take this nice and smooth, and we will get to the boss door safely. No! Okay, you know what? For the sake of not dying and having to redo this all over again, there's that. Yep, okay. Well, I tried sliding. Didn't really work out. Yep, okay! Just you. You are the worst enemy in the entire game. The stupid stompy man. Oh well. I had to use that E-Tag. There was no way out of that. I don't remember there being a second snake section, but apparently there is, so... Ooh, that would have been nice if that fell in the middle of the platform, because I would have changed out and got it, and now it's just floating in space. Oh well. Ooh, ooh, yes please. Let's refill beat. Alright, and then this guy is going to get on my nerves. Ooh, came really close to hitting me. I don't think we have enough health to take out this boss, but I'm going to attempt to do it first. I forgot what he is. Oh, it's this guy. I forgot what he's weak to. He's weak to something in particular that takes off his... Yeah, he has this one sticky Cheerio move. And after he hits you, he's gonna hit you again. You gotta make sure to dodge it. It's kind of like a Met Tool attack. But this guy's not too bad. I barely remember him, but... He kind of just jumps up in the air and then shoots those sticky things. And you just gotta make sure you don't hit the sticky things, really. That's the, the main problem with this guy. Ooh, and also taking damage to that shot, I guess. But oh well, he's down. Anyways, thank you guys for watching, and in the next part, we will finish up Proto Man's Castle. See you then.